Yo, this is Josh Lyman. What's going on? None of your business. Look, it's 38 no, well, states. Well, I can tell you that you don't believe in any god that I pray to, Mr. Lyman. Not any god that I pray to. Lady, the god you pray to is too busy being indicted for tax fraud. Uh it bleeds. I don't think it was the tie that got me in trouble. Yeah, but I've told you a zillion times. What's that? It's coffee. I thought so. Donatella Moss, when did you start working for me? Mm, during the campaign. And how long have you been my assistant? A year and a half. And when's the last time you brought me a cup of coffee? It was never. You've never brought me a cup of coffee. Well, if you're going to make a big Donna, deal... Donna, if I get fired, I get fired. If you listen carefully, you can hear two centuries of presidents rolling over in their Come graves. To the meeting. No! Come to the meeting and be nice. Why? So CJ can put it in the paper. Al Caldwell's friends with bad people. I think he should say so for the common good. Screw politics. 30 second hypothetical. You're Lloyd Russell, newly crowned prince of the white suburban woman, the upper middle class black man, the teachers union. You're no friend of the sitting president. What do you do? Put together an exploratory committee. Who do you get to run it? You. I already got a job. For the moment. Who do you get? Well, if I could get Mandy to leave $900,000 a year at Lennox Chase, I'd get Mandy. You'd be smart. Hey, come to think of it, you think she'd be interested in his job? Of the same suit you wore yesterday? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, can I just say that as it turned out, I was the calmest person in the room? Hey. Way to stay cool. I am not empowered to auction off the Bill of Rights. I thought you were going to take a swing at her there, Vanna. She's calling us New York Jews, Josh. Yeah, but being from Connecticut, I didn't mind so much. Josh. Too busy being indicted for tax fraud? Don't ever do it again. Yes, sir. Victory is mine! Victory is mine! Great day in the morning, people. Victory is mine. Morning, Josh. I drink from the keg of glory, Donna. Bring me the finest muffins and bagels in all the land. It's gonna be an unbearable day. 27 lawyers in the room. Anybody know post hoc ergo propter hoc? Josh? Uh, uh, post, after, after hoc, ergo, therefore, after hoc, therefore, something else hoc. Thank you. Next. Josh. What do you need? You owe me $100. For what? I interviewed in the college football pool. Without telling me? Well, it was kind of a surprise. How'd I do? You lost $100. On who? Uh, Central Indiana State. What was the line? It wasn't really that kind of a pool. What kind of a pool was it? You just picked the winner. And you picked Central Indiana State? The fighting Hokies. Who were they playing? Notre Dame. You picked Central Indiana State against Notre Dame? Well, technically, you did. We need to gang up on them. Yes. We do it as a gang. Sam? Yeah? Do you want to maybe close the door? Yeah. You slept with a call girl? Look, I really I like her, and she's not what you think. The only thing I know about her is she's a call girl. Is she a call girl? Yes. Then so far she's exactly what I think. What do you like, Rocky Mountain College or Purdue? I'll tell you what, can you give me Yeshiva University over the Dallas Cowboys? Mandy. Excellent choice. Yes. Wait. What? Mandy. Who's recently unemployed. And by the way, I don't think Josh has gotten enough credit for that. We need her again, Josh. Mandy? We need her. Wait a second, this is an ambush. And you think I'm getting of... mugged and you're the gang leader. Can you think of a single reason not to use Mandy that isn't personal? Sure. She used to be my girlfriend. That's good enough for me. Let's do it. Excellent. Hang on. This is going to be great. Wait, I have just certain objections. Like what? For one thing, the president's never going to go for this. Sure he will. How do you know? I already, you already asked, asked him. All right, listen. Fine. I'm a team player. I think my record's pretty clear on that. Yes. As long as she understands that she answers to me and she answers to Toby. I don't want to have to go 15 rounds with her in the Oval Office. Toby, does that wrap it up? Yeah. Thank you, everybody. You know, I'm, I'm going to draw a chart for her with lines and arrows clearly indicating that she answers to me and she answers to Toby. She answers to me and she answers to Toby. Silberman. Bartlett. What about Bartlett? <laughs> what are you doing here? Jed Bartlett, Nobel laureate in economics, three-term congressman, two-term governor. You guys look like you could use a client. What do you say? You want to work for the leader of the free world? Well, it took you long enough. What are the rules? Number one, she can't punch me. Number two, I'd prefer it if the two of you didn't get drunk in the middle of the day. No. Agreed. Fine. Well, you don't know how much we appreciate this, Josh. Well, it's not like he's doing us a favor. You are a good man, Josh. Yes, I really am quite something. Rule number three, and I really can't emphasize this enough. You answer to me, and you answer to Toby. 
My office is drawing up some instructional charts that pretty much outline the chain of command. For instance, you answer to me, and you answer to Toby. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Hide in your office? No, I'm not gonna hide in my office. I am gonna go into my office and devise a strategy. That is what I do. I'm a professional, not a little boy. Mm, that's the spirit. But if she calls, I'm at the dentist. I'll be back in an hour. Got it. Yeah! Wow, are you stupid. You can't be mad at me for this, CJ. A call girl? Here's the thing. A call girl, Josh? You're... See, the thing is, I really don't think it is that serious. Why not? A couple of things for you to bear in mind. First of all, he didn't know that she was a call girl when he slept with her. He did not pay her money. He didn't participate in, have knowledge of, or witness anything illegal. Or for that matter, unethical, immoral, or suspect. Okay, a couple things for you to bear in mind. None of that matters on hard copy. You're overreacting. Am I? Yes. As women are prone to do? That's not what I meant. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. It's always what you mean. You know what, CJ? I really think I'm the best judge of what I mean, you paranoid Berkeley shiksa feminista. Well, that was way too far. How the hell did I get into trouble? Today, all you had to do was get out of bed. So how do we tell them what we know without telling them what we know? Well, we don't know anything, so that shouldn't be hard. Sir. We obviously get quite a few candidates who meet those qualifications, so the rest is just gut instinct. Or you could bribe me. S sir, I... Seriously, Charlie. We call the president, sir. Everyone else says, hey, when am I going to get that thing I asked for? Water. Charlie, you're standing again. How's he doing? Look pretty freaked. He's a gamer. I can pick him. It's the only thing left to do is say hello to the president. We're going on the air in a few minutes with a national address, so I don't know how much... Where the hell did he go? Charlie. I've never felt like this before. It doesn't go away. Stop talking. What's up? I want you to look calm while I'm telling you this. Tell me what? We lost five. What do you mean? 802. Five votes jumped the fence. Are you kidding me? Nice job looking calm. Are you kidding me? Leo just got off the phone with a whip. Last nose count, we're five votes down. What the hell happened? We don't know. Give me names. We're, we're finding out. We love you, Josh! Thanks! Sam, LBJ never would have taken this kind of crap from Democrats in Congress. He just said, you're voting my way, in exchange for which it is possible that I might remember your name, pal. We need to win. And I mean win. We need to take a curtain call and a victory lap. And that's how we get momentum. We get it by being tough. And we give away nothing. That's what I'm taking away, Leo. Where are you going? Where are you going? I was following you. I was following you. All right. Don't tell anyone this happened, okay? okay. I want your permission to kick his ass. You want to dangle his job in front of him? Yeah. No. I want to let him hear the branch creak. We do that, it doesn't work. We can't do it again. If it doesn't work, I back off. If it doesn't work, we give Katz and Moore a metro link, and we let O'Bannon order off the menu. If it does work, I think we get the other four votes no problem. When word gets out, we're not screwing around. I should sell tickets to this meeting. Ask me two years from now, I'll be there for you. 55,000 more people will be shot and killed with guns two years from now, but that's very much beside the point. What is your point? Forgive my bluntness, and I say this with all due respect, Congressman, but vote yes, or you're not even gonna be on the ballot two years from now. How do you figure? You're gonna lose in the primary. There's no Democrat running against me. Sure there is. Who? Whomever we pick. You're bluffing. Okay. Uh, I'm in your own party. It doesn't seem to be doing us much good now, does it? Against an incumbent Democrat. You go to the press and endorse a challenger? No, sir. We're going to do it in person. See, you won with 52%, but the president took your district with 59 And I think it's high time we come back and say thanks. Do you have any idea how much noise Air Force One makes when it lands in Eau Claire, Wisconsin? We're going to have a party, Congressman. You should come. It's going to be great. And when the watermelon's done, right in town square, right in the band gazebo. You guys got a band gazebo? Josh. Doesn't matter. We'll build one. Right in the band gazebo. That's where the president's going to drape his arm around the shoulder of some assistant DA we like. And you should have your camera with you. You should get a picture of that, because that's going to be the moment you're finished in democratic politics. President Bartlett's a good man. He's got a good heart. He doesn't hold a grudge. That's what he pays me for.